Oh, such a lovely. Oh, Godstone. <laughs> what? How did it even work? How does it even work? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Z. No, shut up! No, no, no Dragon Ball no, Z. No, no Dragon it's Ball Sarat! Z. Sarat! Sarat! Sarat. Sarat. Okay, you're, you're actually gonna kill me. Ow, 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 yeah. ow, ow, ow. Dragon Ball Z, that's right. No, Sarat. Dragon Ball. Wang. <laughs> Point proven. I hate you. I hate you. You love me and my nipples, my succulent nipples. Hi everybody, okay. my name is Mustang Welton, back with this, dude. And I'm Shaquille O'Neal. Wait, what? What? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought we were doing a different episode. My bad, my bad, my bad, I'm out. No, I can't, okay. So, today we're going to be talking about um, the updates for the yeah. future. That we're all hoping for. Well, of course. That some of the people don't even know about, but I have some nice hidden leaks. Mm -hmm. I know people, I know things. And I know you. <laughs> and I know Shaquille O'Neal. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, some of the updates that I, um, one of them on the forum, just for a quick reminder for everyone, is there won't be a data reset. So your your all your items and levels will be saved. You're not losing them. If you hear people saying it, it's false. It was confirmed by the owner on Twitter. Yep. Uh, some of the new things that um, were on the group chat to come out were guild housing, or just housing, I guess, and guilds. I don't know if they're actually going to have guild housing where all the guild members can go into one house. But yeah, That'd be kind of a yeah with a house, like, how awesome will that be if you just buy your own house and invite your friends? Like, I, I hope it I've... will be like GTA, like, everybody sees one house, but if you enter, you have to, you know, click you and go, join you your, your friends. Own house, yeah. And what? then and then you can like sit there and you can like go to friend's house or teleport into yeah, friend's house. Yeah, like that... you people can just like like uh, somebody's knocking your door. Do you want to open or you know deny him? Like something like that. Or throw a sword in his face. One of the three. <laughs> no, <laughs> but yeah. Opens door, sword flies out, damages him. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for the sword. Yeah, and also I'm hoping he will expand the maps. Like map one is like this floor is a little bit too, too small. Yeah. Um. In my opinion, I think map three is the same size. It was honestly just the scenery that makes it look bigger. Ah, okay. So the, he's actually using the full limit of a map. Um, the only problem is because it's so vast and open is you don't really understand how big it is. Um, the reason that I'm saying that it's actually much bigger than you think is if you delve that way, um, part way back, like farther away back, there's actually the dungeon that you enter in from the tower. So yeah. there's actually a considerable distance between the dungeon and here, thus why we don't have a bigger map than you'd expect. But yeah. granted, this is the first level, so they wanted a quick make, quick get out, quick out. Yeah, elf. like in the alpha, the map was, he took the map from his old games. And yeah, uh, yeah it, it was awesome, but yeah, it missed something. And this just gave us the, the, the good feeling when you join, like the first time you join the town, you're like, I'm going to play this game. And then you join the first floor. It's a little bit of a disappointment because leveling is really hard at level one and two because yeah. everybody's stealing it or you die before you can even kill it and get the XP. That's true. But yeah, maybe in the future, you know, he can, uh, well, yeah. You know, you can fix that. You know, you never yeah. know what what's going on in the future. Well, maybe in the future there'd be a more vast environment. Like, um, if you went out that way, there'd be like, or the, the sand desert, you'd find spiders or sand crabs. Yeah. If you went out that way, you'd find lions or so something different. But I hope it stays a little bit, you know, connected with the original Sora series. But you know, the you know the series didn't show all the floors. So slowly, it's showing the more floors, but it's it's still fantasy more most parts you have to make something that fits in and that's i think that's one of his ha uh, hardest jobs don't you think yeah no doubt because floor well, two uh floor three yeah. i mean how 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 does the boss even look like i didn't see it um f there is no really floor three on boss three yet but there's just <sighs> two major mini bosses i guess um one's a giant green orc and then if you go to the blood orc tribes there's a giant blood orc Ah, okay, so maybe we'll see that in the future if I'm about at least level 10, I guess? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, no, um, actually, the, the Ilfang is actually level 15. No way. Yep, Ilfang is a level 15 boss. It's, it's dam- yeah, well, yeah, his damage is like, okay, it's- it's. It, he should make it like it has three different health bars. Like, first health bar, he does like 10 damage. Yeah. 
when you are in the second health where he takes like 20 damage and when he, he goes in his last damage he does an amazing damage of 35 like it will become harder it's just that they'd have to slow down his attack speed yeah because right now he hits a lot frequently and maybe but if they did do that it, it would give that more of the effect and then it, and then at the third health bar when it gets really low he changes his weapon and that's what gives it that yeah but i think it will that. break really quickly you need to complete team on it to keep the game up to date yeah. be with the roblox updates yeah that, that's yeah. true so yeah that would be like annoying yeah but overall i, I like this game it's been going pretty good yeah. um, like like his fantasy, yeah, he stopped sort out fantasy to work on this game. He's even scared this game goes in pop, not popular anymore. But he already has almost three thousand uh, plays, three hundred thousand plays. Nice. That's that's awesome. Well, like only in this short amount of time when his beta is out, I think he did a great job. One of the fast growing games besides uh, Dead Zone and uh, Epoch Rising. Yeah, yeah. I think you can put him in that list of you know growing. In uh, games, I ha I have an idea that I might do, but it is completely an option that would take me a long project. <laughs> I would like an insanely long project, and that will be. I'm thinking I might get Unity. You know the Unity 3D uh, maker. and make the Sword Art game. Make the Sword Art game. In you Unity. are actually too late for that. If people uh, are still here, you know, uh, there is gonna be a complete uh, first slash third person version on unity it is gonna have custom ca uh, combat with the mouse so you can make your own combat moves it's just called age of Ancrad, Ancrad, however you say it it's gonna be out in two years and yeah i'm super hyped for that game yeah. um but no i honestly like want to make my own sword art version yeah. because a sword art unity version would be much better than roblox it's just that right now roblox is an easy tool to use and create because it already has all models and stuff yeah, yeah. only breaks so quickly yeah it either breaks or it's just that you can't get it to do exactly what you want to do because they have coding limits yeah yeah but maybe in the future Roblox just, you know, updates even more and becomes better because most of the scripters are even making stuff for Roblox to run better. Yeah, That's... the second problem though is that it's a block game, so everything's blocky. Your sword swing is always one swing, or you, when they do add an animation, you have to get it in, but the animation would glitch and your arm would fly across the map. <laughs> Sometimes it happens, yeah, I know. Um, for an example of a glitch... <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah... Yeah. But yeah, he can remove that with a simple script. Yeah. But the thing is, the reason it does that though is because Roblox made this where you sit there and you Gundam do the style. dance. But then this game made it so that you when you have your sword, your two arms are fixed in that position. So when you dance, only your heads and legs will move. Yeah. So yeah, that's just an easy script for that. But anyway, that's all for the owner to decide. Yeah, but that's the only problem with Roblox, is you have a Roblox makers doing their own codes, and then you have the people in the game doing their codes so things clash. But if someone made one game that faced off of a game, it will have much more variety. Yeah. But yeah, I think we, we sent what we wanted to say, right? Yeah, I think we got what we got. Man. Just uh, make sure you check out the website. Uh, add us both on the game. My name is, of course, Manimus12, and you can see his game name in, you know, here. <laughs> you can see it yeah. like here, like right here. <laughs> and I will type in chats to you know so it's here right there You can always add us. We always right. f of course add you back. We are open to talk You like in mail open the talk yay <laughs> <laughs> And if you and if you want to rip a rip our nipples you can So yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm a stack world so and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed peace Thank <laughs> you.